Four new teams of Tri-State police officers are on duty. It's the newest class of police dogs and their handlers. That's right. And Cincinnati Police and the Amberley Village Police Department actually benefit from the new officers. Two other dogs will work for the Hamilton County Sheriff's Department. It was a grueling 14 weeks of training that prepared them to be among the best in the country. And as Nine on Your Side's Allie Kramer shows us, the last piece of that training put the new officers to the ultimate test. I will put these dogs up against any dogs in the United States, and these are just brand new dogs. I mean, they are amazing. They can do the work of 10 officers. These purebred German Shepherds and Malinois hybrids were chosen for their drive. People think their dogs at home have high drive, uh, and if you think of the most enthusiastic dog you've ever seen, that's these dogs when they're resting. Just days before graduation, these dogs tackled their biggest test yet, jumping from a helicopter and tracking a suspect. Tracking with the city of Cincinnati, the canines in general is the bread and butter. You have to find them and able to apprehend them. Oftentimes, getting to that search area is easier said than done. So the helicopter is, let's say, we have a dog working in a city that's on the west side of town, and let's say Claremont County, they have an escaped inmate from the prison or something out there. Uh, the helicopter can pick the handler and the dog up and fly them out there right away. With those propellers going full speed, Amberley Village Officer Andrea Alt had to coax her dog Creed into the helicopter. It was loud. He didn't quite know if he was to trust it or trust me with it. Once we got in the air, he felt comfortable. He was looking out the window, kind of watching me, making sure it was okay. You know, I was talking to him the whole time, and I was kind of getting him pumped up to get out and, you know, getting ready for what we were going to do. And, and he knew once we got out what his job was. Getting those dogs used to the chopper is also important in emergency situations. God forbid there be a critical incident where the canine is shot or something. The helicopter's overhead, he could land, and we could uh, board the helicopter with the uh, canine and get flown to the nearest vet. Now, all of these dogs will be fitted with special tactical vests to protect them. They're all donated by local businesses through Spike's Canine Fund. And founder Jimmy Hatch, he was actually here today to present Pedro with his vest and really fit it on there. It's an important mission for Jimmy. His own canine saved his life when he was deployed overseas.